Okay, let's do this. We want to find the greatest common factor for 27 and for 81. And the greatest common factor, the GCF, it's also called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. I like greatest common factor, so we're going to do that. So we find the factors here of 27 and 81. We compare the common factors and we choose the greatest one. So for 27, 1 times 27, that equals 27. 3 times 9, that works, but I don't think there are any more factors. 81, 1 times 81, and then 3 times 27. I had to look that up before the video. 3 times 27 is 81. And then what else do we have? 9 times 9. So these are the factors that go into 81. Common factors, 1. That goes into both 27 and 81, so that's a common factor, but it's not the greatest factor because we have 3. That's larger. 9, that goes into both of them. But the greatest common factor, 27. So 27 divides evenly into 27 and 81. That makes 27 the greatest common factor for 27 and 81. You can do this other ways, like prime factorization, but these aren't really big numbers, so this is usually a lot easier. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.